I'm Madison. And I'm Angelica. And we're gonna make our coming out story today. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You can go first. Wait. Cause... I just want to tell you guys I got asked to prom today and I got a promise ring, but I have to get resized. Yeah. It's super cute. And she asked me at fair. It was so cute. What did it say? It was like, I promise to love you. I promise to never give up on us and love, love you, you unconditionally, unconditionally if you promise to be my prom date. Yeah. Yeah, it was so cute. We're going to post pictures and she recorded it, so we'll post the video. Yeah. But anyways, this video is about our coming out story and me being sent away yeah all of it do I have to go first yeah well I feel like we should just start out like at the very beginning just it was freshman year and we went to the same school freshman year and um I don't know what happened we both <laughs> liked the same girl mm -hmm. and so she was talking to both of us without any of us knowing and then um, she kind of left me to be with Madison and then <laughs> and then Madison left her to be with me basically basically that's what happened yeah, yeah. um when was it freshman year um it was like, it was towards like the middle or the end no, it was like, an, remember, because I, they, okay, so I came home with a hickey, and my mom saw it, and she freaked out, and she was like, who gave it to you, blah, 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 and I was freaking out, and I told my sister that I had got it from a girl, because I was like crying and stuff, and um, my sister was like, well, if you don't tell them, I'm going to tell them. So I was like forced into telling them because I was just going to say it was from a guy. But she was like, you need to tell them, you need to tell them. So I told them and my mom freaked out. And she like took my phone and got on all my stuff and saw the messages of me and Madison. And then I was using my sister's like tablet. And I was like talking Madison through Facebook. Okay, let me remind you, this is freshman year. <laughs> so I was talking, we were talking on Facebook. And... My mom got on my phone and got on my Facebook and saw those messages too. And so when I came back from California, my room was packed and my mom was like, um, you're gonna go stay with your sister in New York. Yeah, and I so, like my room was packed and everything. Was that after before I asked you? Oh. I don't remember. Are you talking about that? Yeah. This was, this was sometime before Valentine's Day. So when all this was going on, um, my parents didn't let me go to school. They kept me from school for two weeks and they found out. And it was like February, they let me go back to school February 11th and 12th. And then the 13th, um, I went to school and Madison was like, she's like, yeah, like I'm gonna ask you out like on Valentine's Day, like it's gonna be so cute, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, okay. So then that morning I woke up and I was like all dressed and I had like a cute little pink tutu on and I was like I look so cute my hair was curled and everything and then right um, as I'm about to leave my parents were like you're not going to school and I was like what do you mean and they were like you're not going to school so they let me go to school on Valentine's Day so I was fucking sad I was, can I tell this part like about yeah I was crying in my room and um no, I was in the living room and I was watching The Notebook and I had no makeup on and I was in Valentine's Day pajamas. <laughs> and then, well, that day, like, I had brought all of the stuff I got her for Valentine's Day, like, to school. Like, I brought everything and um, she ended up not being there, so I just put it in my friend's car. And so, after school, um, me and this girl that I was, like, good friends with that, like, knew in Helica, um, we got someone to like take us to Angelica's house. Like I couldn't even talk to her all day because she didn't have anything. Like I couldn't, I, I had mm. no idea if she was even gonna be home or anything. And so we like busted a mission. 
and we went to her house. Oh my god. And we went up to her door with everything, like her window, and I knocked on it, and like she opened the blinds, and she was like still in her pajamas, and she looked so cute, and um, and then Kissing. she. And then she came outside, and I asked her to be my girlfriend, and I gave her all this stuff. It was super cute. She had a shirt, and it was like, will you be my girlfriend? Oh my god, it was so cute. And then I had like a huge, a huge bear, and like huge. a bag of candy for her. It was huge. And um, I gave her all this stuff, and we kissed, and <laughs> her mom comes walking out, and she was like, get the fuck off my property, get the fuck away from my daughter. And I didn't say shit. I just put my head on and I left because I was so scared. It was so bad. Like, I honestly, it was super cute. Yeah, it sounds really cute. But then it's like, why would you go to my house? Like, you like you know my parents are going to be there. It was just, it was, it was bad. Like, it was cute. It was a good five seconds. And then my mom came out. And she had to come out right when we fucking kissed. And I was like, fuck my life. And it then was she was like, get the fuck in the house. And then I went in the house, and I went psycho on me. And she, like, ripped the bear and threw all my shit away that she got me. And then that shirt that you got me, I don't know if I ever told you, but she was like, oh, what? Are you supposed to wear this when you run away with her tonight? And I was like, it fucking says, like, will you be my girlfriend? Like, you're so dumb. She's and supposed to wear it when you run away with Yeah, she was, she was going <laughs> crazy. Like, she was going crazy. And then, and then, remember, she called you. Yeah, she called she, her. So I was, I was, I came back to my my house with the friend that I was with, and I looked at my phone, and it was a call from Angelica, and I was like, "What the fuck?" Because she didn't have her phone, or she didn't have anything, and I answered it, and it was her mom, and she's like, "You fucking bitch, stay the fuck away from my daughter," and I was just like, "Okay," like, and then and then she called the friend that I was with too. <laughs> um, oh, I was gonna say her name. Like she called her too. And cussed her out too, so it was like it was a whole big mom, thing. It was yeah, really bad. It was so bad. And then I think that's when I went to California. Mm hmm I think yeah. I it was it was that. after that. It was after that. Yeah. And then I went to California and then when I came back my room was packed and everything and then my mom was like, You're going to New York. At that point, after all of that, I was like, I don't wanna be in this house. Like I don't wanna be with them, I don't wanna live with them, like I wanted to leave. Even though I wanted to stay, like it was just it was bad. So, I flew by myself all the way to fucking New York. I had to get off that plane and get on another plane all by myself. I was like 14. It was freshman year. I was all alone, and I didn't even have a phone. Like, my mom didn't... I had have got kidnapped, and no one would have fucking known. So then, when I went to um, New York, um, I went to school there. And it was fun. I don't. I didn't like the school because it was really small. Like my sister lives in a small town, and I didn't like it. But like the weekends, and I met. I made like really good friends. And I even went back this summer to go see everyone because because I I got really close with all of them. Um. But before I left, because I didn't have a phone or anything. I I busted a mission to try to, like, I wrote a note to Madison. Yes, it was so cute. I wrote a note, and I was, like, basically saying that, like, my mom's sending me to New York, and I was, like, I promise, like, I'll be back. Like, I promise, like, I'll graduate with you. And, like, I gave, I don't even want to, ew. It was so no. cute. Okay, so she gave it to, like, her neighbor. I like, gave it to my neighbor. A neighbor girl that went to school with us. So I put it in her mailbox. Okay, I was, I went on top of my roof. And I was, I waited for her to come outside, and she came outside, and I was like, hey, like, can I put this in your mailbox? Can you, can you give it to this girl, to give it to this girl, to give it to Madison? And then she was like, yeah. So when my mom left, like, I ran to her house, <laughs> I put it in her mailbox, and it was like a box, and it had a note for Madison, and then for my best friend at that time, and then for the girl that helped Madison come, and come to my house on Valentine's Day. And so, yeah, I, I basically just said, like, I love you, like, no matter what, like, blah, blah, blah. It was so cute. I remember reading it in class, so I started crying. It was so cute. Um, and then it had, like, a like a necklace in it with a ring. And it was so cute. It was like, I promise I'm going to come back. It was so cute. Oh, you're so cute. I know. Oh, 
Bobby. Come here. Okay. So then, that leads into your coming out story. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so she was in New York, and my mother had came to pick me up from school one day. Okay, should we tell her about your sister? I don't know. Yeah, but we could tell them after you tell them your story. Well, that's how, like, she knew about you. It was, like, we went to dinner one night, and, like, I I knew who Nelica's sister was. Like, I knew her name and everything. And, um... And we went to dinner one night, and we were sitting there, and my mom was like, oh, yes, like, I interviewed someone for a job, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, who? And she was like... She said her sister's name, and I was like, no fucking way. Like, you she interviewed in Pelican's sister for a job and she was like yeah she's gonna get it blah blah, blah. Hmm. and um i was like freaking out and my mom was like how do you know her and i was like oh like i know her sister like we're friends and she was like oh really does she go to healer like healer ridge like that's our school oh, and i was like yeah and then i was like but um she's like she moved to new york like she's she's just i don't know like, my mom was like, why did she end in trouble or something? And I was like, I don't know. So it was just super weird. Like, super, super weird. And so, um, that's all she knew about Angelica. Like, that's all she knew. And then she came and she picked me up from school one day. And she was pissed. Like, she was fucking livid. And I could tell. And I was like, what's wrong? And she was like, she was like, didn't Helica get sent away to New York because of you? And I was like, what are you talking about? And she was like, I, she's like, what happened? Like, what's going on? And she was like, you like girls? And I was like, fuck. And she was crying and it was just, it was really in my room. She says she was cleaning my room and like doing my laundry and it was in my dresser. Mm -hmm. And then I guess she just like, she just found it. So yeah, and it was just like, that. that's basically how they, how my parents found out it wasn't, they weren't, they weren't like her parents, like they didn't take my phone and stuff like that, but they were upset about it, but they're, they're fine with it now, like they're, yeah, my parents are still psycho, yes, and then, oh, oh, are you done, huh? well, I was gonna say, so then I was in New York, and then, um, I came back right before my birthday, and my birthday is in July, so I came back, like, right before, and, um, you know, like, I'm thinking, like, I'm gonna come back, and everything's gonna be fine, like, I was over there for six months, and I was, like, going through hell, like, I was, like, my fucking parents sent me away, like, I was so depressed, and, like, I didn't talk to my parents, like, they would call and stuff, and I just, like, I didn't talk to them, I was just, like, I have nothing to say to you, like, you fucking sent me away, like, so, um, I came back and I'm like thinking that everything's gonna be fine when I come back. I'm like, there, I'm still gonna go to Healer Ridge. I'm still gonna what? Is it a girl? The dog. Oh. Is it a girl? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm still gonna go to Healer Ridge. Like, I'm still gonna see Max. I'm like, it's gonna be fine. Like, they sent me away because they needed time. So I come back and we lived like, um, we lived by Healer Ridge at the time. And so when I came back, they had moved. They'd moved into town by the school that I go to now, Cibola, and they were like, they were like, you're going to Cibola, and it was like Gila Ridge's rival. So I was like, what do you mean I'm going to Cibola? And they're like, they're like, you're not going to Gila Ridge, like you're going to Cibola, you have to go there. We moved, blah blah blah. And I was like, what the fuck? Like these people are crazy as fuck. Like they sent me away, and then I come back, and they moved houses, like. All because of, all because of this little thing, like just because I like a girl. So that's why we go to different schools because my parents are fucking still crazy as hell. I think that's pretty much it. I can't believe we were apart for like six months. I know. That was I, hell. I know. It was hell when you went for like two months over like last summer. And I remember our first date, like seeing her after I was in New York. I was, I was so fucking nervous. I was gonna have a fucking breakdown. Like I went to, we were gonna go to the movies. And so I was in Sun, and I was like, I could see her walking into like walking towards the store and I was hiding. 
I was fucking hiding from her like it was middle school I was like freaking the fuck out and I was like no like I don't want to see her like what if she like I don't know I was so scared oh my god my heart was racing and then we went to go see R.I.P.D. Mm -hmm. yeah and um and when I first saw her we didn't kiss I was it was awkward it was so awkward I was like do I kiss her do I hold her hand do I hug her like I didn't I didn't know yeah it was because it had been like so long yeah and we never did anything like we never did anything before I left so well we kissed but not like you <laughs> yeah it was just weird I didn't know I was like I don't know and then I remember when you kissed me we were walking into the theater and I like turned around and you just like kissed me really fast and I was like it's over. The awkwardness is over. And now look. We're already like We're together at my for house. two years. Yeah. It's a lot better now though. Like we can hang, we hang out a lot. I think we hang out a lot. Yeah, for being for how crazy my parents are. Yeah, we, do. we hang out a lot. Uh, good times. Good memories. No. <laughs> No, I feel like, oh yeah, we get this question a lot, um, well I do, do you think it'd be different if I didn't get sent away, like would our relationship be different? Um, I think it would, I don't know. I, I think, know. um. It, it would honestly, yeah, be different, but I don't know if it would be like good or bad different. I don't know. I feel I feel like there could be a chance that if I didn't get sent away, we wouldn't be together right now. Why? Because I feel like that whole situation just brought us closer together. Yeah. And, like, there was a point where I was like, they don't want me to be with you. I'm going to fucking be with you. Even more now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, like, we wouldn't be, like, as close as we are yeah. now. Like, we don't go to the same school, so we don't get to see each other a lot. And when we do, we cherish it. We're like... Yeah. I love you, and like we're all cute, because we don't get to see each other a lot, so when yeah. we do, it's, I don't know. Yeah, it def it was it really hard, but it did bring us like a lot closer, and it like showed us that like, we weren't like going to we give up do, on each other, and yeah, we could do anything, basically. we could do anything. Yeah. Like, no matter what, it, like, I'd always have you, and you'd always have me. Yeah. I love you. <laughs> I forgot how to do this. I hate this part. Can you say my name for me? I'm a dick. My hair is fucking pissing the fuck off. My hair is pissing me off. Okay, let's Daisy, just... stop. Don't give me the Daisy. Well, she's breathing really heavy. That's not it. Nay! Hi, I'm Madison. You look so mad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it's fucking hot. Hi, I'm Angelica. And I'm Madison. You just said you're. <laughs> I'm Madison. You're ugly. <laughs> Hi, I'm Madison. You're ugly. <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> okay, let's go. Hi, I'm Madison. I'm Manila. <laughs> You're really being annoying. Like, I'm not. Like, I don't think it's funny. Like... Real talk. Hi, I'm Helena. This is my lovely girlfriend. She's so sweet, isn't she? Just <laughs> <laughs> so sweet and nice and so caring and loving. 